Hello there. I'm Black Bright and broadcasting out the UK into your homes. Welcome. Um, hope you are feeling a bit better now that we've heard that Boris Johnson is thinking about um, easing us out of the lockdown. Now, the only thing that frightens me without being too negative is that people are just going to see that as an excuse to relax. I mean, already somebody just told me that they went through the town centre and it was it was like it was almost packed. I mean, the shops aren't open, but it's almost like people have assumed that by saying easing the lockdown means it's OK. And that is what we cannot afford to happen. That is the trap, peeps. I don't think people realise how set up they are. You know, and they know human nature. Really, really, they shouldn't have said anything at all. They could have just made their plans, dealt with um, the airlines who they want to ease open in the schools. And um, it's the airlines, the schools and public transport they want to ease open. But they should have been more firmer with regard to um, talking about people staying at home. By saying, oh, well, we don't want people to start getting ease, you know, to relax the rules. They know people are. When you say that we've reached the peak, people are going to start going out. And you know what that means? It means they can blame that on another peak of, well, the second peak of the virus, which is supposed to be worse. And you know what's going to be sad about that? Do you think you were on lockdown at this time? You weren't on lockdown. You was on bloody holiday, mate. You could go walking up and you could go walking. You could go, you could do your little exercise. You could go and get your essentials. You was on holiday. The only sad, the only bad thing about that is that you didn't have no work, but you were getting an income. What do you think this second, um, this second lockdown is going to be like? Why do, you, do they're not wasting all that money bringing the army in and all of that just for you to have another holiday? No. The second lockdown, if people do not stay at home and wait and follow the instructions, is going to be 10 times worse. It's going to put in all, all in place all of those measures under the emergency legislation and that health protection coronavirus restrictions, England, where they're talking about they can test everybody if they've got the coronavirus. That's what people will be enforcing themselves if they do not contain themselves and just wait until uh, Boris Johnson gives us the go ahead. You know, people are so bloody predictable. And it's such a shame. They've been so good for the last three weeks. How are they going to behave when within a couple of weeks? Yeah, I want to get out. I do, seriously. But I'm not going to risk it just because there's people out there. You know, I prefer to wait. But you've got young people out there who can't wait to get out. And they see this reaching a peak as permission to go out. And what Boris Johnson should have said, he shouldn't have just said politely, oh, you know, and this does not mean that you, you, you should go out and relax the rules. He should be saying, look, if you go out, these are the penalties. This is what's going to happen. You will be taken up. You will be arrested. But instead, it's almost like lulling them back in. And now they're all going to be running around like a load of bloody rats all over the place. Spreading what they're not supposed to be spreading, what they've been containing in their houses all this time. Spreading it all over the place. And then we're going to be in a worse position than we were this time. 
I think it's such a shame. It's such a waste of time to do this and get this far only for some short-sighted, myopic people to just throw it all away because they just can't wait to get out there. And you, the, the thing is, they fall right into the government's hands. They give the government the per perfect excuse to be stroppy. Because by disobeying, you're giving the government an excuse to treat you like crap. You're adults, most of you. And those who are not adults should be able to govern those who are still children, those who are under 18. And you should be able to set an example to your children that, yes, these are the rules. This is what we need to do. You know, instill discipline, self-control. Young children need to have that to get through this world. What you're teaching your children by just saying, OK, we can go out now, is that you have no respect for the rules. And that it's OK to go out now. And that, they, you know, there's no, you know, and then what are the consequences? What are you going to tell your child when there's a serious lockdown and you cannot go anywhere? Are you going to say to your child, oh, well, I wish I'd listened to Boris Johnson? Is that what you're going to say? What kind of parent are you? Adults need to have to show some responsibility and they need to behave in a responsible way. And they're not behaving responsibly when they're taking their kids out as though they've been cooped up in a bloody prison. When they still have the luxury of their, you know, their four walls, most people. Sad for those who lost their homes. This isn't for them. But, you know, for those, I mean... If you're not careful by disobeying, you're going to lose your home. So just think. I mean, not everybody's going to even watch this video. But just think before you go through your front door. Think about the repercussions of not following regulations. I mean, really and truly, if this coronavirus does spread, if it, whatever it is, manufactured, engineered, real, not real, who cares? What we care about is the impact on the country, the impact on our lives when we disobey, when we cannot control what our needs and our versus our wants. You, you, you've got enough. You can go to the shop and buy your essentials. You can have your exercise. Just let that suffice until we get the proper go-ahead. But no, they're already out there, all over the bloody place. It's such a shame. So this is just me ranting, really. Nothing else to say. But have I got anything to say? Uh, Boris Johnson has promised to deliver a comprehensive plan next week on how the lockdown may be eased after declaring the UK is past the peak of the coronavirus outbreak. Death toll is currently 26,700, a few over. Um, he did say don't relax individual restrictions, talking about opening public transport. But the thing is, that in itself is mixed messages. If, if there's a lockdown, you're opening to public transport, who's going on them? And that's why people get confused and that's why people go out because if you're if you're providing public transport and yet there's still a lockdown why are you providing public transport what is the point unless you're deliberately trying to confuse people schools are supposed to be they're going to start phasing opening schools it's all mixed messages either you're opening or you're not by Opening schools, that means parents of schools are going to be allowed out. Children, teenagers are going to be allowed to go to school. It's not like you're saying that there's going to be this disciplined regimen when young, young kids are going to schools. 
you're implying that the lockdown is over, even though you're just talking about it. And that's what I hate about these mixed messages that they keep giving, trying to set people up deliberately. No, it's that, that psychology that they use. It's so irritating that people fall, fall for it every single time. And they're talking about airlines. But you've been warned, peeps. I'm just a little person in a big, big world. And who am I? Who's going to listen to me? Not many. But you watch this space and see if what I'm saying doesn't come about. I don't want it to come about. Believe me, I don't want it to come about. But just watch. They're setting themselves up for serious lockdown. Army, police, everything. And like I said, you think you're on lockdown now? You're going to wish you had this lockdown. And that's all for now. Bye-bye.